when he handed me the picture of Pauline. On a hot summer day. It's getting pretty thick right here. Immediately, I was scared. We're following you. A small team of forensic specialists, yeah, detectives, right. and a psychic arrived in an overgrown patch of land in Port Acres. Like, I started shaking. Even my eyes were twitching, and I knew that's never happened before. So I was like, wow, this was pretty bad. They're here because Karen Janice believes this is where they'll find Pauline Klump, a woman missing for nearly three decades. I saw what happened to her. Witty, it, it was pretty gruesome. She didn't witness the crime, but she believes her psychic abilities could help solve a mystery from the summer of 1988. On July 2nd of that year, Klump went missing. I, I know where her head is, I think. I don't know where, where the body is. The 51-year-old was last seen with this man, convicted rapist and murderer Roy Melanson. Her car found the next day a few miles away at Alfred's grocery store, which is now a market basket. Where do we need to look? All right in here, where it's thick. With little else to go on, Port Arthur Detective Scott Gaspard is working with the Louisiana psychic. And, and to be quite honest with you, when I first brought this case to the psychic that's gonna help us, she asked, um, where's there a bar close to where the car was found? The train is just like that. There is a bar that's been there for years. And just behind there is where Gaspard believes Melanson dumped her body. I was able, actually able to see everything through her eyes. And through those eyes, Jenny says Melanson is the man that killed Clump. I actually saw him take off her head and throw it in the woods. I don't think I've ever seen somebody just that sick do something like that. But this land is overgrown. It's just so thick. And almost impossible to search. Needle in a haystack. I feel something here. They got really strong. It's like straight back. Janice has worked with Port Arthur Police in the past. She feels compelled to use her abilities to help victims like Pauline Clump. She needs peace. And when they die like that, they're upset. They're mad. They want justice and she's never going to rest until I find her. Gaspard believes Klump fought for her life but was no match for her attacker. They made me feel what they felt and I hate that part. Like I can't breathe. It's like he some, strangled or something. Roy Melanson is serving a life sentence for murder in Colorado. He's connected to other murders too. Karen Janice believes it's worse than anyone knows. Now, I, I know that there's a lot more people that he has killed, a lot more, and more than the cops know. That's all just been, uh, what I remember is the high grass. But come fall, after the weather cools off, the team will be back with search dogs, ground penetrating radar, and a better idea of where to look. Oh, at face value, this may look like a wild goose chase. Uh, let's do it. What's it going to hurt? Uh, Pauline deserves it.